Hello everybody and welcome back to another 1.4 Terraria tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add a right click functionality to our weapon. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I already have my .cs proj file opened and I've opened up my gel pistol and we're going to be modifying this to right click a functionality to shoot an Iker bullet. So we're just going to say here public override pool alt function use. And what that should do is if we return true in here then that will allow us to now right click our item, which means we can now specify what we want to do when we right click our item. So I'm going to say now under our shoot method over here, I'm going to say if player dot alt function use equals equals two. So if we're pressing our right mouse button, then we'll say projectile dot new projectile, our source position, and then I'm just going to press tab and fill in all of those parameters. And I'm actually going to change our type to projectile ID dot Iker bullet there. So that way we shoot our Iker bullet instead. And under this, we're also going to say return false. Okay, awesome. And just to make it look nicer, I'm going to put this uh, under our offset code. That way we kind of get a better offset. Now let's go ahead and build our mod real quick and see uh, how this looks. Okay, I've just logged into the game and I grabbed my sticky revolver. So if we left click, we'll use our default ammo, which is our sticky bullet. But if we end up right clicking, look at that. We still use our ammo, but we're shooting uh, our Iker bullet. Now, the Iker bullet doesn't actually seem to be damaging anything. Okay, so I really quickly just went uh, and changed my projectile to an Inferno <laughs> fork projectile, which looks absolutely insane. But uh, the problem was, when you create a projectile in your shoot event, you actually need to specify who the projectile belongs to. So after our knockback, we have to say player.whoami. And this will make sure that the projectile knows that, hey, I'm the player and I made this projectile, therefore I'm going to allow it to actually hit enemies and not myself or anything else. Okay, awesome. So if we right click, we can shoot this insane projectile uh, with this weapon. And if we left click, we have uh, just our normal attack. And there you have it. That is how you can create a, uh, a custom alternate functionality or right click use for your weapon. And before we end the video, I'm going to give you a, a quick little bonus tip. If you ever want to change the stats of your item whenever you're right clicking, you can just say public override uh, bool can use item. And then under here, we can just say if player.alt function use equals equals two, item.damage equals 30, else item.damage equals 10. And so what that does is whenever we right click our item, our item's damage is then set to 30. And when we're just using our item normally, our damage is now set to 10, which means we can have a more powerful secondary attack uh, if that's what you want. Of course, you can change whatever you want here. You can change your uh, use animation, make it slower or make it faster. You can change your shooting. You can basically change everything uh, that you want. So definitely feel free to give that a shot. And also make sure we say return true under here because remember this is a boolean method which means it returns true or false and if we return false then we cannot actually use this item so we have to make sure that we return true that we can use this item i know this was a very short one but uh this was recommended in the comment section i believe so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video